eine gute Zeit. Noch im Sommer steht schon hinten Baldassien mit die Winter. Wir mit denen reden. Many of us envision the Hader of the old country as a place where little Jewish boys studied eagerly under the wise, benevolent guidance of learned teachers. But Yiddish literature sometimes paints a very different picture that cries out for reform. The Maskilim of the 19th century wished to broaden the education of Jewish boys to include modern history, mathematics, science, and the language of the nation where the Jews were living. Some thought that even the Jewish subjects were badly taught. Many writers objected to the methods of rote learning. Ansky observed, when we speak of Orthodox Jewish education, usually what, comes to, <laughs> usually what comes to the foreground is the old hater with its ignorant Malamed and his archaic method of instruction and the unhygienic environment. Go on, please. Others had bitter memories of corporal punishment. The hot, oh, the Kunstik. A whip was universally feared. In his book, The Worlds of Shalom Aleichem, Jeremy Dauber writes that Shalom Aleichem complained that he didn't understand a word of the Talmudic speech he had to give at his bar mitzvah. He also remembered that one of his malamdim routinely poked the children so hard with his finger that it made you see your great grandfather in the world to come. Oh my dear, oh goodness. Okay, go on. Shalom Aleichem's gloomy poem for the hater was turned into the popular song, Ich will nicht gehen in hater. I don't want to go to the school. The music is by Joseph Chernyavsky, Ludwig Satz recorded it in 1924. Note, Doolin means to drive someone crazy. The fear of us probably refers to a biblical or Talmudic text. Dreshen de Bainer, a Dreshen de Bainer means to beat them black and blue. Here it is sung by Helen Angler, Angler for, from her album, I Lulu. You, Janet. Thank you. Steve, will you start, please? I knew you were going to pick on me. <laughs> it's not quick. If you don't yeah. want, I don't. Schlechte kommen und verbeiten ständig Liebe. Gute Zeiten. Lachen Summer steigt schön hinten 
bald der äh, Äuschen mit den äh, äh, Wind, Winden. Um, I, I, I go slowly in to to go by for for Biden to. Put a note on the door. This is ringing place. several times. Henrietta is on a walker. Um, I go slowly in in. in um, I always go slowly into um, the that place. Um, uh, I, I in good time. So on time. You go. Um, no, it's he's talking about bad times and good times. Schlechte yeah. refers to schlechte Zeiten. Right. Right. They, okay. They're coming, and they're going to replace. Yeah. And they always replace wonderful good times. Yeah. Oh, I see. Okay. Because the summer um, to an end. Right. When summer's over, um, already. Um, Hinton, um, you know, I think this is uh, I, above my pay grade. Why don't somebody else read this? Okay. Uh, you can just yeah. finish every, finish the reading, and Maurice will translate. Okay. Sure. Ich will nicht gehen in Heider, will der uh, Rabbi uh, schmeißen uh, Kseder, uh, nein, nein. Uh, ich will uh, nicht gehen in Cheder um, und der Kant, uh, uh, Kant, Kantschik, Kantschik, uh, drescht de Beiner, um, lernen, ober will nicht uh, keiner. That, I understand that part. <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> right, okay, so. so. Why don't you do the first two and I'll... Uh, do yeah, the exactly. Two. Maurice, do the first two and uh, Steve will continue. Sure. So bad times are always coming to replace the wonderful good times. And after the summer, uh, already um, the, the fall and, and its winds are already waiting behind the summer. What is hinten? Behind. I thought it was, huh? Behind. Behind. Oh, hinten. Behind. 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 After the I kept summer. thinking it was about it was dogs. And what's okay. Ossian? Ossian is autumn. Autumn. Before. Okay. Hmm. Uh, I will I will not go to Hader um, uh, um, because the rabbi oh, listen, uh, will is, is I don't want to. Oh, it's okay. Well, right. Yeah. Right. Well, would be I. I will not. This is right. I don't want to. Right. I don't want to go to Hader because the rabbi, um, um, the the rabbi Schmeisen is to slap to hit. Yeah, to hit to beat will, Schmeisen. Will, will will beat me? No, no. Um, no, Kaseda is always always the rabbi is always hitting us. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. I, I get it. Um, I, 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 uh, I, I don't want to go to Cheder in the in, in the um, what is Kanchik? Kanchik is the whip. The whip. Oh, that's the whip. The, the Kanchik uh, breaks my whip. bones, beats my bones. Right. Um, you, you learn, but I don't want to. Uh, but I will never go. No, it's no. It, he doesn't want to learn. Oh, oh, okay. They can beat him with the kanchik, and they can all that. But learn and will not kena. No one wants to study. No one wants to learn. Mm -hmm. Never. It's inverted. No, okay. Oh, all right. Okay. Well. All right. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, okay. I'm done. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Cookie. The word for biting. I sing it in a song, and I thought it meant. To uh, uh, exchange, also. Yes, it means to exchange yeah. or to replace. Or, or, okay. Bad times are coming after the summer. Okay. Right. Okay. Before Yeah, I just want to point out that one of the difficulties here in translating it is that often the subject is is a little bit delayed, which you can do in Yiddish. And so, in the first line, schlechte kommen und verbieten ständig lieber 
gute Zeiten. Well, where is the where is the subject? Because kommen is clearly the verb, but mm -hmm. it's it's uh, bad things here come and change always love and good things. So Liebe and gute Zeiten, I guess, is the direct object. Yeah. Later on, we've got lernen will mit keine at the last line. So here, the subject is keiner. Keiner will nicht lernen would be in the ordinary order that you'd expect. But lernen will nicht keiner, um, it changes the meaning slightly to put lernen at the beginning. It, it, it It's called fronting. It, it means it's emphasizing that word. But as far as studying is concerned, however, no one wants to. But but Yiddish is backwards, isn't it? We no, no, Yiddish, no, no, standard no, no. word order in Yiddish is the it's same as in poem. English, it's... but you're allowed to change it around for emphasis because it's so highly inflected that it's intelligible even if the order is not in the English standard order. Uh-huh, that's an, yeah. Okay, so let's continue. Barbara, you still can read? Okay. Uh, und er steht schon da, nicht weit, der war hellfair bei der Zeit. Mit a stecken, a lantern, ein gesunken soll er werden. I, I, I honestly, Maurice, please translate for me. Sure. So, um... And he's and he's already standing there, not far away, because he's already imagining what's coming. The assistant, that's the teacher's assistant on the okay. side with a okay. stick, mit a stick ah. and a lantern and a lantern. Eingesunken Zorevan. May he <laughs> drop dead. May, yeah. he, may the earth swallow him up. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. So shall I go on? Yeah, sure. uh, just read it because we, we already translated, so just read okay. it. Okay, okay. So, should I go? Uh, should I translate it? Okay. Right. Ich will nicht gehen in Geder, der Rebbe schmeißt Geseder. Nein, nein, I don't want to go to school because the Rebbe will uh, always hits. Uh, no, no, uh, ich will nicht gehen in Geder. Und der Kanschik Dresch de Bainer, and I don't want to go to Cheder, and the whip will beat my bones blue. Lernen ober will nicht keiner, and no one, but no one wants to learn. Thank you, Barbara. Yes, of course. Thank you. Yeah, um, two things. The Balfour, one of his jobs was to help the kids go to school and come back. And in wintertime, when school was over, it was already dark. And that's why there's the lantern. Um, the Belfer would have a lantern in order to help the kids get home. The other thing is when it mentions the Rebbe, that's not here rabbi, it's the teacher for young kids. There's no good equivalent in English. Uh, Yiddish uses the word Rebbe in this case, but it doesn't mean rabbi, it means teacher. Okay, thank you. Thank you. So let's continue. Uh, Julia, can you read, Julia? Sit, sit, a hinsen, often eyes, thus is, is glot, der schnee is weit, will, wilt sich glitchen, a cut, a cut of us, un er, dolt uns mit fear of evis, of us. Okay, go on. Uh, Okay, ich will nicht gehen in Heider, weil der Rebbe schmeißt Geseder. Nein, nein. Um, let's see. I'm, I'm, I can't see the. Ich, ich will nicht gehen in Heider, weil der Reb, the Rebbe schmeißt Geseder. Nein, nein. I can't see the next line. Okay, we read it already. So, ich will nicht gehen in Heider und der Kanschig dresch die Beiner. Nein. Gernen, Ober, will nicht gehen. Nein, nein. Okay. okay. Julia, can you translate it or will you let Maurice continue? And... I'd rather have Maurice do it. <laughs> okay, Maurice, please. Okay, so he's talking about the ice 
that that's on the ground or on a lake. Seat I hin to ocean ice. It's it's pulling us towards the ice. In other words, this the kids would rather be out there playing on the ice. Seat I hin to ocean ice. This ice is glad. The ice is smooth. The schnee is weiss. The snow is white. Wiltzich glitchen akatoris. Wiltzich is it's a you wanna. It's like an impersonal. You wanna slide, Akatovis, What fun! When the adult owns mit fear of us, but he's boring us to death with fear of us. I don't know who the fear of us. I mean, I know there are dry of us. You know, Avrom Yitzchak and Yaki, but I don't know who the fear of us are. Maybe somebody else knows. Yeah, I see that refoil. What is Akinza? Yeah, the fear of us. This is a uh, beginning of Bava Kama. Now, um, if you haven't studied Bava Kama, then you wouldn't see this, but the kids might have seen it. There are four major categories of damage the ox and the pit and the fire and the uh, the mouth. So, anyway, these are. Um, the Arba Avos. Avos here means major uh, categories, and it's a Mishnaic term. Um, and it, so that's what it is. Okay. Can I ask, what is Mishnaic? Uh, the Mishnaic is um, after the Bible, there's the Mishnah, and Mishnaic oh. is the plural referring to verses of the Mishnah. And so it's the first of the Mishnaic of Bavakama, which is one of the tractates. Uh, uh, in the in Sedo Nizikin, uh, one of the orders of the Talmud. Just to you're, take, you're, taking me, you're taking me back to my youth when we had to study it in high school. So, yeah, we had to do, you know, the matriculation in, in this stuff, but I don't remember anything. So, <laughs> yeah. Well, you can remember that there were six books of Mishnah. <laughs> yeah, but I remember the Pirkei Avot and I remember the Nezikin. This I remember, but not much more. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, so let's listen Mina, to Mina, Mina, what is a Katavis? Katavis, uh, Maurice, you say it's fun. What fun? fun? Yeah, what fun? What? Slide on the ice. I cannot hear you. What? Fun. <clears throat> Entertainment. Ace a cave. No. Ah, is it Kef? Yeah. Okay. That that will do it. Beverly. Sometimes sometimes it also means like jokes, like yeah. uh yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, so, so I want uh, I want to say that in Europe they were so they were exactly like this, the teachers, but when they came to America, they continued to be like that. So my husband Dave went to a yeshiva, and this is exactly what he lived through. But when he'd come home and his father and he said to his father, the teacher hit me, the father said, the teacher hit you, so now I'll hit you. Oh god. <laughs> oh. But he oh. has enough stories to write a little book about his what they have. And then the kids tortured the teacher. Then the kids, all these kids were not so good either. Then they did back to the teacher. They tortured them exactly the way they tortured them. Later on years, um, it was it was um we, they changed. They changed. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Beverly. Bob? Yeah, yeah I, it's amazing that Jews became the people of the book with these kind of attitudes. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and, and, and the Jews weren't the only ones. You can imagine what the Catholic schools were like. Yeah, same. Yeah, right. Brutal, brutal. And I yeah. think, you know, certainly... Uh, I, I grew up in Boston, and that reputation still existed among the uh, in the Irish school uh, Catholic schools in Boston. You didn't want to go there at all. Yeah, a girl. Bonnie, I, just a moment, Cookie Bonnie. Um, well, it's interesting though that they said they they taught mathematics and history. Uh, whether they taught it correctly is remains to be seen. But a, a friend of mine, uh, her son-in-law was raised. It, uh, with the very from in a very from family, and he went to yeshiva, and we and they thought he was going to be a rabbi, and when he 
graduated, whatever, I, he kind of moved away from it. And he is trained in nothing. He wow. was you know, really not able to even get a job. Wow. And so I, it's interesting that in Europe, they at least attempted to teach some secular topics, but he he didn't learn anything secular except maybe to speak English. But that you should, but but that was a real struggle. You know, the Muscular were a minority. They were considered, you know, they were progressive, they were heretical, oh. you know. They just wanted to add all those modern studies, but but it took a long, long time. And I don't think in most cheders they taught those subjects. I think you had what happened was uh, parents who wanted their kids to be part of the modern world would send their kids to public school and cheder after school, <laughs> and so they learned the subjects in the in the public school, and they learn the fear of us in the Yeah, well, unfortunately, yeah, he, he was not part of that group. So I mean, it's interesting to know that, that Mashki and were, were not. Okay, Cookie, Cookie, yeah, Steve, I, and Malti, Cookie. I agree with the lady who just spoke. My brothers went to yeshiva. They came out without any vocation whatsoever. They just went into the post office. They, they didn't even know how to earn a living because my father just wanted them to be rabbis. And yes, they were hit by the rabbis, the whole business. And that was Eitz Chaim in Borough Park. But I also wanted to mention the word uh, glitchedic. My mother always said it was gainet that ice and gas is they a glitchedic. It's very slippery. Right. And now in English, the word glitch is used. As as a, 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 there's a glitch in the computer, you hear right, it all. Right. So right. they use it. It's a slip up. I I think mm -hmm. they use it sort of a little loosely because it's as though it's a mistake, rather than than a, a, a perhaps a slip up. But that's what you use. It's been a glitch in the, the you know they use the word constantly. Yeah. And it's a Yiddish word, but glitchedik always meant slippery to me. Yeah. Okay. That's amazing that you picked that up. That's fantastic. Yeah. It's Thank also you. German. Yeah. It's also from German. Yeah. Uh, Steve. Yeah. Steve. Uh, yeah. Sorry. I was just, I was going to agree with uh, what Maurice said about ah, they, okay. they didn't care. They, they did not care about uh, secular learning in, in uh, Heider. Uh, and they belted the kids all the time because my father was one of them. Uh, but I will tell you, though, that when I was a principal, uh, assistant principal at a high school in New Jersey, I actually had parents come in and tell me uh, that I should hit their kids. You know, they just people still think that that's how you teach kids, you know, so nothing. Yeah. It's, it's how it is. OK, Marty. Yes. Just, just to, to clarify, uh, there is there is and was a. Uh, a big difference between Heider and, and Yeshiva. In Heider, uh, Heider was very, really a very low, low level of teaching, and no, no Heider would, would teach uh, anything related to something above a uh, Bible. Uh, Mishnah was taught only in, in Yeshivas, and kids already from 11 or 12 were sent to Yeshivas and not to Heider. At least in Europe, uh, so whatever some some yeshivot probably with maskilim taught uh, secular uh, subjects, but definitely nothing like that in Heider. Okay, Hoshen. As bad as all of these uh, stories are, and my father also went to Heider, and I think his father, my grandfather, was a malamed in po in Poland. Um, the Jews are one of the few groups where literacy is prevalent. You take any other group, and even in the United States, illiteracy is a real problem. Okay. Okay, thank you. Okay, I think we should listen to it once again and then and then move on. <laughs> Ständig lieber gute Zeiten, noch im Sommer steht 
I'm yes. raising my hand. Yes, Beverly. Yes. Oh, okay. So in in the when they came to America, though, in the afternoons they would have um, math and subjects. The the teachers from the public schools would go to the yeshiva to each to teach late in the afternoon. That's how they got the secular. However, Dave, my husband, he didn't want to go. He wanted to go to a secular, a regular high school. And his father said, no, he would have to stay in yeshiva. So they actually went to Jewish family service for, for an opinion. And, and uh, I guess it was a therapist. And then Dave won. And then he could go to regular high school, the regular high school in the neighborhood and not the yeshiva. But his father said, no, he only wanted to go to yeshiva. In interesting. Yeah. Lots of <laughs> okay, thanks. A cookie? Yeah. I, I was very lucky to be a girl in my house because my father was too uh, uh, carved to uh, pay for the girls to go to yeshiva. So the boys went to yeshiva and we went to regular public school. So we got a regular education where the boys uh, boys didn't. We were I was able to be a bookkeeper and go to work uh, and stuff like that. But I went to Hebrew school, not to Yiddish school, which I regret today. So we could we could open a book in Davin. He wanted us to be able to go to shul and uh, and be able to read uh, the the So I uh, there was no Israel at the time. So I I mean my Hebrew was of value because I can I can tell in the Yiddish when we read what's Hebrew. If I don't know a word somehow I I recognize it as a Hebrew word. But other than that, Yiddish school was not from it was workman circle. It was all kinds of Bundes, communists, socialists, all those kinds of people that my father had no relation with. So I went to Hebrew school after English school. And uh, so I never got to learn to read or write Yiddish. So, but the, the English school was certainly of uh, great value. My brothers were, you know, I was lucky to be a girl there. It was tough to be a boy there. Yeah, they were hit. They were, yeah. Thank you, Cookie. Thank you. Any more comments before? Yeah, Maurice. Yeah, I just want to point out that the word uh, in the song that they use for autumn is the word Ossian. And Ossian has pretty much fallen out of use. It's a word of Russian origin. Usually the word for autumn is Herbst, which is a word of Mr. German, German origin. So, <laughs> but in case you were wondering, what's what's this Ossian? It's yeah, it's from the Russian. How do you say autumn in Hebrew? I don't Stav. know. Stav. 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 It's a beautiful, I think it sounds really beautiful. Stav. S T A V. <laughs> so, so, so. Oh, okay. So, 
Let's go back to the story and maybe we will finish it today. Remember, Ethel and her mom are coming to Argentina. The father is already there. He's peddling all kinds of fabrics. And it's, everything is very strange to, to them. The neighborhood, the language, the climate, they, they don't feel at home. Until there comes to the same co courtyard, another Jewish woman by the name of Rochel, and she is, she is kind of pious, and she is keeping up all kinds of the Jewish tradition. And the mother is very happy with it, that she has someone to talk Yiddish with, although the Yiddish is different. The Rochel's Yiddish and the mother's Yiddish are different. And one day there comes, uh, yeah, and one day there comes also a little girl that the that Rochel, the pious woman, is fostering. And uh, that's about, and Ethel can play with her. And uh, that's, I think, where we stop. Unless someone else wants to add anything, we will go back and see what's what's happening next. So we are at the end of, it's a mole. So just a moment, I will. Do you want me to make it big, still bigger? Yeah. That's okay? That's good. Bigger, bigger. A mole flat. Yeah, that's, that's okay? Okay. Louisa. Please, I see you. So I, okay. I was going to say bigger. Yeah, that's better. That's I, better. I okay. Be so, so please read. Thank you. Uh, Can you I'm move it to the right? To the right. Okay. Yeah, because the yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yes. yes. Oh, okay. Okay, Luisa. I'm all flicked in the after night. Kommen ot der Gräuser, der Grober, wo Sochele, Rochele hat ihm gerufen, Gershon. Uh, a mall one time, a long time ago. No, uh, no, one, once. I think here it's once, no? Oh, nice. I see, I see. But uh, if it's saying flecked, isn't it he used to? No, occasionally. It's occasionally. Sometimes. Sometimes. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So sometimes uh, uh, in the after night, how do we translate that? Evening. In the, in the evening. The evening. The afternoon, yeah. Eve evening. Kumen ot der Greuzer so would come the big one, <clears throat> the der Grover, the fat one, was Rogele, which Rogele used to call Hottingerufen Gershon. When Erot gebracht the voirelen, when he used to bring little the voire over. So all that's that's the foster child. That's the child that. Uh... Right. Mm -hmm. Over euch erflecht the voiren the voirelen. Euch die hand nicht nehmen, but he again would not. Uh, take uh, the boy in his in his hands. Ir kein lieder nit singen. Ne neither would he sing any songs to her. Un in helzel nit ge gitzelt. And in the would it be throat? Yes. Yeah. The, the little neck. neck. In the neck. In the neck. In the neck. In the neck. Not a uh, what is gekitzelt? Tickled. To tickle. To tickle. To tickle. I see. Thank you. When Erflecht kommen, when he used to come, is oifen tisch gelegen nit kein servetke. So when whenever he used to come, he would not put any napkin on the on the uh, table. So there was for, not. The there wasn't any napkin on the table. Oh, okay. The yeah, you're right. You're right. Thank you. Verspreit, verspreit of an ek tisch 
So he would uh, sprinkle, I think. No, spread, spread out, out. on the end of the table. Spread out to the end of the table. Nora Groiser, Weiser, Tischteg, Iber ganzen Tisch. So he would uh, he would spread a big. No, no, no. There See, would awful. be spread. There would be. There would, no, there be. would be. Where is where is the, the indication of there being? I, I don't because, see the because there is no name. There is no name of it, and this is often Tisch gelegen. So it's, oh yeah, it's an imp it's a passive uh, impersonal yes. construction. Okay. Nora Groiser Weiser Tischtech Ibern ganzen Tisch. I, I was just trying to find the, the expression for there was or something, mm -hmm. but I don't see it. There okay. isn't. There isn't. Okay. <laughs> so the verb is missing. Okay. So there was a white, um, a, 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 what do you call it? Um, tablecloth. Tablecloth. Tablecloth over the entire table. Okay, so oh, just a moment, just a moment. Yeah, Refoil, maybe we'll explain. Yeah, there is a the verb is the very first word there, is. Is often Tischgelegen. Ah, you're right. Uh, you're right. Nor a You're right. That, that's exactly what I missed. You're right. Thank okay. you. So when he came, it was our, this talking about how it is when he arrived. There was no little placemat, just a tablecloth spread to the end of the table. So right. it, it's, an, it's an upgrade. It's an upgrade right. because, you know, the white, like in restaurants, if you get a placemate, it doesn't mean that it's a good one. If you get, you know, white. So another, so, something special was being done. Exactly. Something okay, special. thank you. So where is the reference to napkin? Servietke. Uh, uh, this one. Yeah. It's like it's like short, so, yes. This okay. you see it, Bonnie? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Multiple. <laughs> yes. Uh, here, here we have another example of uh, what we could call disorderly writing. Uh, in the next to the last uh, line for for Luisa's question is often Tisch gelegen nicht kein Servetke. Yes. Yes. It, it's it's there a was, There was. There was nothing on the, on the, on the on the table. There was no no placemat or or, or a napkin on the table. So it might have been, would have been, on the table. There was the on the table. There wasn't anything. But here yes. it says, it's the other way around. It's yes. like something that we read before in the song, I believe. Thank you, thank you. It's it's very interesting because I I, I would think that <clears throat> I'm sorry <clears throat> that this is the Germanic type of construction that allows for this this kind of change in word order, really, very interesting. Probably so. Yeah. Okay. Before yeah. you continue, Luisa Boni. Yeah. Um, servetka isn't servet in some languages or something? Yeah. French. In yeah. Well, Serviette in French. Polish. It's Servietke. Okay. It's in Polish. But not Spanish? Servilleta. Similar in Spanish. Servilleta, yes. It's Spanish, French. It's it's a romance. Yeah, because I, I mean, I, I, I learned, uh, studied Spanish, but not. Yeah. And you know, in French, it's Serviette. So in yeah. French, it's the same. So word. it's really, yeah. So now I can recognize it. I mean, that's, that's really great. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's Go a Latin, Latin sourced uh, word. Yeah. Un, uh, af, un af, af im nis, un af, is it im nis or um nis? Uh -huh. Nis, nis, un af im nis. On the table oh, there were nis. 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 Where is nis? Over it or on top of it. What is nis? Oif im. Nuts. 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 Ah, okay, okay. So there were nuts. Fruchten, azelge, was etels mamen, hot kemol nit gekoif. And there were uh, fruits such that etels mother had never bought. Etel hot dort zum ersten mol der zen af ateller epes azoines. So etel saw there. For the first time, a um, plate, yes, a plate 
such as this one, be a moderner, uh, like, um, what is moderner? Strange. It's strange. strange. In, you know, in Polish, modne means fashionable. So anyway, for whatever. We're reading Yiddish, not I Polish. Know, <laughs> I know, I know, I know. I know, I knew that it was Sometimes, it yeah. meaning, but I couldn't remember the meaning. I knew it had okay. another Fabri far Farbiker Foinl Foigl mit Groise Blum Federn. So Fabriker would be a fabric. Fabric. It's not fabric. It's fabric. Fabric. Color. Colorful. Ah, 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 ah. Okay. Okay. Yes, you're right. With big. Uh, with big um, feathers. Feathers. Mitagroisen mm -hmm. ek uh, un a cop with a On a cop. On a cop. You're right. Uh, with a big, uh, what is it? Ah, ek. Behind. Tail? Behind. Okay. With a big behind and on a cop and without a head. Ben menhot im Seshniden, which uh, which was cut off. No, when when when, when it was it, cut when it was cut off from him. Ot a mechayediker reach viazis binto. There was um, an aroma that was mechayediker, like um, uh, pleasurable, pleasurable. Pleasure. Restoring life <laughs> via this, like a sweet uh, wind, is it? Yes. Zich a trognemen ibernzimer, which I don't know what that would, how that would be translated. Spread out. Which spread, spread out. out throughout the room. Does anybody know what uh, what they're talking about here? What? Yes, here. Yes. Now what? we will see what it is. Oh. Dos oh, also, oh, okay. Ah, I'll tell you. Dos is, given an, dos is given an ananas. Ananas is pineapple. Yeah. So that's it. So she is talking, she is describing a pineapple. Yeah. Ah, yes, you're right. Okay, the foil. Yeah, the somewhat unusual fluss federen refers to fish fins, the fins on a fish. And so describing the pineapple, which you've never seen before, first it looks like a, a colorful bird, and then it has big fins, and then it has a big tail, but it has no head, and so on. How are you going to describe a, a pineapple if you've never seen it before? Yeah. <laughs> that's good. Yeah, that's a good one. OK, thank you, Louisa. Thank you. Karen, will you continue? <laughs> Um, oh, chocolate kiss. Um, oh, um, is it, I'm I'm sorry. I'm just having okay. I put oh, it in blue. Oh, thank you. Oich oich chocolate kiss. Also chocolates. What mit zera zilbener papierlach with their silver wrappers. Paper, haben sich auf morgen beide Kinder gespielt um, with um, the, the um, which uh, the next morning both children played with. Okay, Karen, just a moment. I'm sorry, but this brings back memories. I don't know in the United States, but in Israel. When I grew up, we were not rich. We were not really well off. And that's the whole neighborhood was like this. And that's what people, children played with. You know, this, we call them the, the gold ones, you know, the, the wrappers of, uh, of sweet. So we used to, to take the wrappers off and straighten them 
Yeah. And then we used to play with it. So, you know, I see that, you know, it doesn't matter if it's Petar Tikva or it's Buenos Aires, it's the same. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, before you continue, Rochelle. Yes, I I also used to, um, from the Barton's Candy, save the wrappers as a child. And to this day, I save the wrappers and I use them like collages. Okay. Really? <laughs> that's, that's interesting. No, I, I save them and I then I forget to away. do anything with them. <laughs> yeah. No, as a matter of fact, all, every collage I make has a candy wrapper in it as kind of a signature thing. Okay. So Karen, sorry, but I just had to tell it because it was so so weird, you know. Mm -hmm. It's okay. a beautiful memory. Un um, un liquor and liqueur in geschliffener din physiker un heucher gleselech and liqueur in in polished. Uh, I don't know, din physica, if that means thin footed, maybe slender. Yeah, the, the stem, the stem, stem yeah. was very thin. And and tall and tall bottles. Not bo oh. bottles. Oh. Really glasses. Yeah. Excuse me, glasses. Hobben sich auf den Tisch beweisen um, were shown on the table, then Gershen Fleckman, when Gershen would come. Un a silberner bambish bambisha and a silver bambish which is bambisha 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 is a sort of a straw it's a straw it's a straw a sort of a straw that has a um a perforated uh, bottom so that if you're sucking up something um, the any kind of debris or sediment in your drink will be filtered out and you will be able to suck it without getting all this debris in your mouth. Yeah, it's, um, like, it's, it's you, like it's you which to, drink, to drink mate in Argentina. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's what we will see. Yeah, yeah, you're right, Susan. Okay, Louisa, so I think Louise is going to explain it or I yeah. will. Go ahead, Louisa. Louisa. Yeah, and I, I'm, yeah. going to, I'm going to go to the kitchen and bring you a bombilla. Okay, oh, cool. go and bring, so, show us. So it's, a, it's like a, the, a plant, what do you call it, squash or whatever, with an open top. And you put okay. them on the in. I'm going to the kitchen and I'm bringing a book. Okay, a, so you, you can show them. So. You put okay. the mata in the bottom and then you then you pour hot water, boiling water over it. And then you put the straw in. And so none of the tea that's at the bottom comes in. Only the liquid, liquid comes in. My okay. mom grew up in Argentina and we, we drank it frequently. Once in a while, she'd say, let's have some mata. Oh, and you put sugar. Then you put sugar on top of the tea. Okay. Leaves. But Louise is going to show you. I, I was yeah, going to get mine out to show you and I forgot. <laughs> here's one oh. made out of a gourd. There oh, you yeah. go. I see. Here, wow. Here are two different There straws. you go. That's it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Oh, two okay. different straws with two different strainers. I have a collection of these from when I was dancing tango. It tastes really good. Yeah. Okay. And so it, but it on. has caffeine in it is the thing. It has, uh -huh. so, you know, if you, yeah. you don't want to drink too much. <laughs> I never okay, go, go, go Karen, until Louisa comes back, go on. Un azilbener bambisha mit a golden piskel with a golden narrow opening. Was nor ein Gershen Fleck von ihr trinken, from which only Gershen um, would uh, drink. Mat, uh, mate. Uh, mate. Ma mate. Mate. Halten dich die Mate mit sein kurzer, grober Hand, holding ja. the holding the mata in his short, um, thick, fat hand, who in him cleansed a finger, had get, um, excuse me, 
geblitsch, geblitschert, uh, brilliant, um, um, where on his, on the, on his smallest finger, on his pinky, pinky. Of his, his pinky yeah. was a, a, a sparkled, a diamond, the an arbis de grois, like a pea, um, like a large pea. The size of a pea, the size of a pea. Arbus is also, um, can be defined as a wart, but I think in this case it's a pea. It's a pea, yeah, it's the size of a pea, yeah. Isn't it, isn't it a chickpea? Chick yes. A green pea. Oh. It, oh, green pea, yeah. Um, no, but an arpus is larger than a, a green pea. Doesn't matter. It's just yeah. the planet type. Let's continue. Yeah. Punkt as a groiser un blitz schendicker vider was is in sein cravat spielker. Gesessen. Um, and this means um, uh, just just as um, oh, even such a larger, larger and more um, more shiny than that um, diamond that was in his tie tack. Yeah. That, that in that sat in his that sat in his tie tack. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Kevin. <laughs> Good. Uh, Beverly? Yes, hold on. Where are we? Rochale hat mit. Oh, Rochale hat ihm mit Greis derach Eretz untergetrogen die Mate. Rachel, with great respect, uh, brought him the mate, gestanen mit die hent. She stood with her hands verlegt auf den Herzen, with her hands on her heart. Gewart, 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 waited. Biz er hat ois getrunken. She waited till he finished drinking. Und er hat lang gesäugen. And he, he, he took him a long time to drink. Mit the grabe lip with his with his thick lips. The ay ay ay. Bombija. Bombija. Why is it in parentheses? Is it a parenthesis? A typo. It's a typo. Or it says why maybe there is an explanation down. Yeah, it has oh, an explanation. You see? Bombija. Yeah, ba a bombija. A metal. Okay. Oh, you want me to read it? Yeah, now? yeah, but we know what it is. We... Wait, now I now I don't know where I am. Uh, okay, okay. It, yes, wait, it, wait, wait. There, there is one. Okay, I see it. Biz de mama hat. Oh, biz de mate. Oh, uh, biz de mate hat geborbelt until. Gechorchelt. 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 What does that word mean? Gechorchelt. It's uh, to became. To, it's was, to whiz. I don't know to whiz. Probably when you have the last sip, it makes yeah. you know. When makes you drink the noise. The last so, bit, it makes that noise, like noise. when you're finishing a drink. Okay. Yeah. It On makes depth. the noise of something. Yeah. It, it doesn't, not only in matter, in everything. Yeah, you know, it, it makes a noise with anything. Oh, and their man, clear your throat. <clears throat> <clears throat> Thanks. And her mother and the, her husband, let them knit. Nit Mormlin, wouldn't it be Nit Gemormlin? Nit Mormlin zu sich in Berdel mit Farmachte Eugen. Until her husband. No, and her husband. Oh, oh and, and then her husband, um, he didn't he didn't speak under his breath or something? Yes. Mumble. Mumble, yeah. He mumbled. It he didn't mumble. He didn't oh, mumble. Oh, knit, he didn't, knit, knit. He didn't mumble um, to 
in inside within his beard with yeah. with closed eyes. Mm -hmm. Ooh, what a description. Nor Freitlich on mit Liebschaft geschmus mit dem with 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 friendliness and with love he talked with Gershon was was hat ihm uh dem älteren von sich what ha when he had he was older than him i guess yes gesagt do 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 you that's yeah, so he spoke to him in second you know in the familiar way correct on and mehr hat schon etwa von sehr schmusen nicht gekannt erreichen. So Ethel couldn't get out of their talk. She couldn't nicht gekannt erreichen. I'm not sure. She couldn't get more from their talk. They couldn't take, she couldn't take out any more from their talk. Yes, yes. Ochel, was is dafke gewen ständig, but because Rachel, who is, of course, always zu ihr freit zu ihr freitlich und zugelassen because Rachel was always friendly and I don't know how you translate zugelassen um, relaxed relaxed nice flecked I auf a auf a wink oh a wink von dem Gershinen ihr hasten game so, hmm, sounds like Gershon told her to get out of there or something right no, no, no. Gershon oh. winked to his wife. Yeah, right. And that the wife stopped. told Ethel to go. While the mama rufsi, because her mother is calling her, but not yeah, real. Yeah, but you know, it, it not just really. It's like, yeah, exactly. What's Thank correct? you. Thank you. Now I, I see people raise their hands. So Bonnie and then Morty. Bonnie? Um, well, a couple paragraphs back, and the, the word, the translation was respect. And I, it was a, a, maybe three or four letters, a letter word. The referrets. The I don't know. Can you highlight it? I, I, I cannot find, the, find it. Paragraph that says, Rochola Hotten mit Groys der Eretz. It's the beginning of the down. paragraph. No, further down. It's further down. down. Okay, yeah. guys. I think it's the next paragraph. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah okay, I, I see. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Derek Eretz, yeah. Derek Eretz, respect. Respect. And yeah. how do you pronounce it? You pronounce it arts? No, Eretz. Derek Eretz. Derek Eretz. Eretz. Is that Hebrew? That's yes. Hebrew. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's back. Yes, I, I wanted to refer to the. In the last paragraph that we read, uh, further down, I believe. No, that's, no that's, here. That's, uh, yeah, I, I wanted to refer to the word do. Uh, mm -hmm. Unlike English, in Yiddish or in Spanish also, there are different words that you use when you refer to somebody in the formal way. In Spanish, for example, you use usted. And for the informal, you will use the word to. In English, both forms are the same. It's you. You can you can be used as a formal reference or as a familiar word. In other languages, including Yiddish, uh, there are two different words for each type of usage. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Morty. Uh, Marif, that's you. Okay. And noch in spätten Sommer and subsequently in late summer, hat Echo Ethel sich wieder gehat amol über gegessen mit die Reute. Uh, Ethel again and again stuffed herself with the red. Is that again and again? Yeah, we well, again. frequently or often or something like that. Mit der Reute hartliche Fleumen, the red, is that hard plum? Yes. Um, yeah. Okay. Was die saft Seere is wie frisch Blut von un okirscht zerschnittenem Finger. 
whose juices were like fresh blood from a newly cut finger. So I don't know why they're hard plums that are having all this juice, but that's what it says, okay? Oh, uh, die Fleumen, wo die Mama kauft, sie verspott billig bei die Schkotzen. The plums which Mama buys for dirt cheap from the Schkotzen, which are um, non-Jewish boys, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Am I right so far? Yes. Okay. Was feeding they in full, full wegener over the glassen, who carried them, that's the plums, in full wagons through the streets. Gate a shagets as a mit a weisen. Such a shagets goes in, in that way with a white see reuter bloom unter den oyer or a red flower and literally under or behind his ear, but it's gotta be, I mean, literally it's gotta be behind his ear, right? Yeah, yes. under, under so the ear. So like tucked up there to, must be a plum blossom to show that he's selling plums, something yes. like that. Yeah. Okay. Und singt sich euch die Fruchten Zeyna and calls out about his Zeyna. Zeyna, thank you. Mit die Hand bei him oyer, with the hand by his ear, via Hazen bam Omed, like a canter at a pulpit. Okay, is everything okay? Yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. everything's fine. This was very interesting to figure out. <laughs> Der Wagen stellt sich up by jeder Hoek, the wagon stops in each courtyard. Und wird bald and soon becomes wie mit fliegen beklebt mit Weiber und Kinder, as if with flies caked or covered with women and children. So all the women and children come running out to buy these plums. Yeah, good. <sighs> Is Hotzik Eto uf, uf gekapt? Oif gekap in mitten nacht mit größer weitekin in boik. So Eto waking up in the middle of the night with a great pain in her belly, which I think must be from eating all those plums. All those plums, yeah. Yeah. At ihr geleger was auf die sinoif geruchte benklet from her bed, which is made up of two chairs pushed together. Hotzi de her de mama's still gewein. She heard her mother's weeping und dem tatens stila and her father's, oh, stila schept schendeke stima and her father's quiet whispering voice. Avaika und on gegosen full mit liebschaft, gentle and flowing with love. Okay, I, thank I'm you. Sorry, but I have to give total credit to Karen because uh, this is all from Karen's help. I I would be hopeless at this. <laughs> so thank thank you, Karen. So nice. yeah. <laughs> thank you, Karen. <laughs> yeah, Louisa, yeah. I apologize. I looked all over the kitchen and I still cannot find the mate, the <laughs> mates and the oh, bombilla that I have. Uh, okay. I brought yeah. a picture. This... Yeah, I have, but Rochelle is also. I yes. have some. Okay. Yeah, Rochelle oh, found oh, found hers. Yeah, I have a couple of them. This one's made from a gourd, which I love. And there are several uh, the silver um iterations of, of oh i think it's better if i do it here yeah. yes we of, see of straws with the thank you thank you yeah we see this one is very interesting okay so uh, Rafael, will you continue please Hershine oof hanale ich bet dich please stop little hana i beg of you so was tied das venen what good is crying Azoy is shoin in dem land. That's how it is in this country. Ungelofen a mention, gissich a chapzu, unbrist sich up. 
Ungolofna, people having uh, run together, run up. Run away. Uh, it's run Ungolofna. It yeah. could be run away, yeah. Um, so, or is uh, it crowded? It could be. I'd have to see the more context until we see what it means. Gisich achatsu. There, achatsu means a, a grabbing. There, there. So people, people run up. They grab. No, no. Up. No, and, I don't and, think so. Sorry, Refoil. Okay. Achatsu. I think that you are getting attached to. Attached to what? That you are getting attached to these people. I'm mm. not sure, but okay. that's what I'm... You give your, you give, okay, so gissen, it's not, it's, it's, it's a gabben. You give a grab, okay, and you, and you burn yourself. That's so, why I think, that's why yeah. I think, because you're burning yourself, you're getting hurt because you got, you know, attached to some people. Okay, when people, yeah, when people have, 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 have come a, at a run and mm. you, and you give a, grab at them and you burn yourself. Tzeduvils, tzeduvils nisht, whether you wish or don't wish, on treffen sich auf jene light vestu, you will certainly meet those folk. So what are those folks? Have anyone an idea? What are those folks? Yes, I think, I think gangsters and, uh, Pimps and that kind of people who were okay, so criminal from so, Europe. Yeah, okay, okay. that's why I'm. I think that the Angelofene mention are people who who ran away from from Europe. Uh, oh, oh, okay, say. but your on usually refers to uh, uh, like a Rhein, a Rheingelofene. So folks who have run here, mm -hmm. okay, people thanks. who've run over here. You grab onto them, but you burn yourself. If you, whether you want or not, you're going to meet that sort of person. Isn't it the fact that I quickly knew, as epis zainenze mir zufum, that somehow they seemed to me too pious, mitzer shoklen zich, the way they would uh, uh, shuckle, <laughs> they would sway as they prayed. Mitzer glotzen the eigen sagat, the way they would um, aim their eyes at God. Aruach and Zera gepegertetaten. May the devil take their um, uh, their their dead father, their the father who was croaked. But, so we're not sure what he's talking about. Maybe the neighbors. Maybe something has happened. He's talking yeah, about yeah. the neighbors, but yeah. we don't know what happened. He's talking about the neighbors because they were so full. Yeah. So, yeah. We'll, we'll figure out. Etlin hat net a zoi von die Werter wie von dem Tatens Schäpschen und der Mames gewein noch schärfer genommen grimmen in Beuch. All right, finally we got the verb. Etl, etl, uh, 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 for Etel, it wasn't so much the words as much as the whispering of the of her father, and the crying of her mother, that uh, it began even more strongly to grab or to 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 hurt in her butt belly. Um, on Z is arois mit adinem spitzeken gewein, and she cried out with a thin, uh, um, pointed cry. cry. Oi, mama! <laughs> Which doesn't need translation. Yeah. <laughs> Shall I continue? Okay, yeah, another, another okay. one. Okay. Und danach hat schon wieder der Tate gemusst mit der Gen Achin. And then, after that, uh, again, her father had to go uh, with her uh, there in Finsteren Eck von Heuf to the dark corner of the courtyard, wo kein Elektrisnisch da, where there was no electricity, und wo viele die Mama hat meurt zu gehen bei Nacht, and where even Mother was afraid to go at night, in their größer Finsterenisch, in the great darkness. So lieb die große Mais und Schuris, because of the big mice and rats. Was life in Dorterum, Frank and Fry. 
that were running about there uh, uh, wild. So I guess she needs to go to the uptrek, to the to the uh, toilet the, facility, which is in the yeah. backyard, but it's night. And so her father has to take her. So it's an outhouse. You say an outhouse. outhouse, yes? Yes. It's an outhouse. Fine. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, Golda, you wanted to say something? No. Uh, okay. I agree. I okay. agree. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Bonnie, yes, I see you. Already. Yes. Um, uh, two paragraphs back, there was the word ruach. Yeah. And did I understand that, uh, I think it was Rafael, I uh, translated it as the devil? Yeah. Because yeah. I had, I always thought it was a, a friendly spirit. Not no, no. Ruach means literally wind, but then it comes to mean spirit. And in Yiddish, it typically means uh, devil. But here it's in Zang Gepater, Gepager Ten Taten. Usually I was hearing in Zang Taten Staten Arang. Right. right. I think I, I think I need to change my uh, my uh, email address. It's what a problem. I always thought, I always thought it was, it was, it was a po something positive. I'm in trouble. <laughs> Sorry, we, Cookie. Yates the harder. Ah, Yetzer, no, Yetzer already is something else, Viruach. It's not a devil? Uh, no, Yetzer, no, no, it's no. Evil, evil inclination. Oh, evil inclination, thank you, Hashem. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, also That's... also the word gepegert is normally used for animals. Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. But not for people, only if you want to really demean somebody. You say, ero gepegert. He, it's even worse than saying kick the bucket. Yeah, that's why I translated it as croaked. Croaked, yeah. yeah, to croak, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. So, okay, Marty, finish the story for us. Zugekommen Nainter, uh, getting closer, a poor treat from the skripedicken Hilzernem Til, a couple of steps from the screeching uh, wooden do uh, small door, haben sie der Zain, a schwache Schein in der Herd a still gerederei. Uh, they saw a very small uh, light and heard a quiet talk. A metzer, a gesinter in a schwer upon him, uh, somebody, a, a big, healthy, and thick, apparently, Hodort in a veinig gekrechts was in there uh, making noise. Hoyev of a call in a sigh, a loud sigh. A loud sigh. Uh, loud uh, on a, with with a loud voice uh, in neighbor tier and next to the door, Ruchel's man, uh, Ruchel's husband. Er is gestanden, gehalten in ein hand, a stickel, ungezenden licht. He was standing, holding in his hand a small uh, lit light, candle probably, verstellt mit der anderen hand, dus flamel, fern kielen, ovenwindel, uh, uh, guarding the light with his other hand from the evening wind und mit a still and with a quiet shefedik call arain gemurmult ahin and with a quiet voice uh, murmult uh, there says Gurnisht says Gurnisht uh, Gershon it's nothing Gershon Ich bin du, I am here. Ich bin du, I am here. So what did you read here? What, what, what do we have here? What is well, this we picture? Have the, uh, the father is taking the daughter to the, to the outhouse. Yeah. And yeah. when he gets nearby, he, he hears uh, somebody, that, that there is somebody there. And uh, it turns out to be Gershon who who has a, a small candle lit, and uh, he says, it's me, it's Gershon, I am here, I am here. Mm, I don't he think also so. had a problem, I had to no, go to No, I don't think so, no. 
Sorry, Morty, I, I don't think so. It's, it's kind of, I don't know the word in English. You think it's a sort of a parable? No, it's not a parable. Barbara, is your ear? Yeah, I'm, I'm here. It's, it's cryptic. <laughs> okay, so we, we, we wrote to each other about this paragraph. Barbara, oh, okay. you try, Barbara. Okay, well, um, it, 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 I think it is cryptic. Uh, and the discussion that me and I had was that, um, as we remarked before, uh, what is not, uh, it's, it's seeming, seemingly Rochel and her husband are pious, but they really aren't. And they're involved in nefarious business. It's very possible that, um, see, this is where I get confused by the husband. <laughs> so um, uh, Mina thinks that the husband is the pimp. And that the Rochel, husband of the neighbor. The husband of the neighbor is pimping the, her out. Right. That's what I meant. I meant, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, and the 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 very from neighbor, uh, the female, is a prostitute. And it's possible that Gershon is her John. And that's also why the mother is crying. You know, Ethel's mother is crying because she thought that they are pious and everything, and then they turned out to be the Yenites, yes. you know? And, and, and she was very disappointed. Yes, mother. yes, yeah. Does anyone have another how, suggestion? How did, you read, how did you read into that? Because you hear, you hear someone crafting inside, and near the door is Rochel's man. So he's kind of standing, standing guard. I don't know. It's really weird. Is he standing guard while inside Gershon and Rochel are having, you know, sex. Are going at it, are having sex? So that's what I think. But the problem is, why is he telling Gershon that he's there, that he shouldn't be I, scared? He shouldn't be scared. That well, he shouldn't be scared. So... It, it it is possible. This and um, this explanation could be is is possible, and it ties up with what I was understanding above about the people running away who could be pimps, gangsters, or whatever. Yeah, that that's what I think that well, it ties it together. Room to cover up. To just, cover I, up. I, I have I have just one question. The guy does this tie also with the guy that had the. The diamond on his yes, small... yes, that's that's him. Yeah, that's him. Yeah. So so that's it's probably him. it's probably one of the the the, the pimps in in Buenos Aires. Yeah, um, because otherwise a Jew with so many diamonds, well, yeah. it doesn't really work yeah. out. Yeah. yeah, the group from Sri oh. Migdal. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, Rochelle. Um, um, where's the little girl? Well, ah, ah yeah, <laughs> that was another problem. So that, she, she's she's is she in the bedroom while the mother is while the foster mother is having sex? And where did this child come from? And was there really a child that died on the way? Um, it says so, this. No. this is just one chapter of a book. It's not no, no, uh, Golda. I read, I read, I read Viter. I read ahead, and like that's it. There is no going back to it. So I, I try to find out later in the book if there is any explanation, and there isn't. Okay. I really so, read most of the book, and there isn't. All right. So there is, uh, there is obviously something going on. Um, it's hard to tell what it is, and. I don't see where this foster child is in the moment of that paragraph. But and... Rochelle, just a moment. Remember, in the shtetl, the houses were very small and there were lots and lots of kids. So those kids came from somewhere. And you know, they were not, uh, they didn't have like three or four bedrooms. They no, had I one didn't... bedroom or so. So those kids came from somewhere. So it yeah. was probably, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. No, but you know, yeah. in in the beginning, we get the notion that um, that this child that is brought to her as a foster child is somehow a replacement for the child that she lost, but she doesn't 
it's a little girl. And if this really is a prostitution ring, um, those little girls were raised to be prostitutes. Mm -hmm. And don't forget also that Rochel, at one point, she says that the mother of the girl, she calls her a prostitute, she calls her an after. Remember? Yeah. Yes. Remember, she calls her an after. Yeah. So that's too. It, it was big business in Argentina. And if you yeah. if you want to read an unbelievable book, The Third Daughter. Which the Third Daughter, yeah, which is based on the truth. The and she's, still, she's yeah. still doing a lot of work with um, mm -hmm. with with women who who are uh, you know, abducted. Mm -hmm. So maybe, maybe this author was trying to tell us about that as well. Yeah. I think she's hinting at this. Yes, Maurice? You know, Sholem Ash wrote that play, yes. Rock from the Coma, mm -hmm. God of Vengeance, which is all about Jews and the prostitution trade. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, something yeah that... Henrietta? Well, Way back, I was also saying this is part of a, 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 a book story. This is only one chapter. And you brought it together with a further explanation. So it makes more sense. OK, yeah. Yes, Bonnie? Um, yeah, well, I think we talked about it before. What uh, weren't the girls brought, uh, they were brought from Europe, the, 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 the Jewish men went and paid money to the, the the parents and said they'd have them you know they'd have a good good life and they brought them here for prostitution and i i also heard when i was in buenos aires Aires and took the tour that um those men were never allowed to be buried in a jewish cemetery i mean when they were finally discovered and one of the girls ran away uh so it was you know a shanda as we say um, and the other thing I wanted to mention, I mean, the pinky ring, when I think of gangster movies, <laughs> there's always a, you know, this guy's got a fat finger, you know, fat hand, and he's got this big ring. With, it's not necessarily a diamond, but it's just well, a pinky it, ring. It's, it's emblematic. It's, that's the author writing about it because he's writing about him, that he has fat hands and he has this diamond. And, but, you know, he must have been discouraged about the from kite and what happened to the, the from but it, it's, we're coming to Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur so let's have forgiveness in our hearts <laughs> okay but nobody's perfect well, nothing's changed with respect to, uh, no, to nothing has changed, nothing's changed. Um, so my question is whose voice is it that we hear is, Who's the, voice? The, voice, the voice is coming from the inside. There is a voice oh. coming from the inside, and then there is someone on the outside that is saying, "Sis Gornish Gershon, you're being do." So Gershon is the one inside. Oh. So he's probably I don't know. Let's say the pimp, oh. and the one that is talking is Rochel's husband. Oh, we know that. Yeah, oh. yeah. So that's her husband. I have to tell you, I read it, I read the end something like 10 times. Because every time it looked so weird and mm -hmm. it just didn't come together. So I had to read it again and again and again until a picture formed in my mind, which I'm not sure that it's correct, but it's it's an explanation. So it's is, is sure, I'm sure, Nina, that you were correct. Is I, it I don't know if you have any other explanation. That, but it, tie, it ties in with the rest of the story. Mena, is it translated into English? No, not yet. But I know that someone is working on the translation of the whole book. Oh, great. So, great. so there, it will be, I don't know if shortly, but someone is currently working on translating the book. So, Louisa? Yeah, so, I'm sorry. So now, now I understand that the, I'm I'm sorry that that the the person who says the last sentence is is I was wondering because it sound sounded to me like somebody was consoling him, but it's not consoling him; it's just reassuring him. Yeah. 
right? Yeah. yeah. And, and the speaker is the other man. What's his name? Ethel's husband. Ethel's husband. Father. Ethel's not not Ethel's father. It's a uh, Rochel's husband. Rochel's husband. So he's an accomplice, basically. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Of course. Well, he's standing outside with. <laughs> And, and, he's she, the wife, the and his wife cries because she's upset at what the husband is doing, right? This is she no, 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 no. Oh. The neighbor is the one that is upset. Yeah. Right. The neighbor is upset. The wife, because she, actually, yeah. the wife is a prostitute. Mm -hmm. the, whose wife? The other man's. The neighbor. The neighbor. Yeah. But maybe she's only doing it this one time to make them some money. It's not like it also could be that this is an unusual thing. No, 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 no. Why? Why do you think different? Because of the whole the whole environment there and, and the way the, yeah. the story is written. Uh, but, but this is not the one this is not a one time thing. If the, right. if uh, Ethel's mother is uh, is upset because uh, she thought that they were from and turns out that they are totally the opposite. Uh, it's not a, it's already a known thing. It's okay, and Gershon was... shows up once in a while also. Yeah. It's not but, the first time, okay. But, yeah, but and he shows matter. up with all the external signals of richness. Yeah, but, uh, like a pineapple, yeah. But Eto's mother, does she know or does she not know? She knows. That's why she's crying. And the That's father says to her, these are the kinds of people you will encounter right. in this world that we're living in now. So you're right. So she comes all the way from the old country and she ends up uh, encountering her own husband, who is an accomplice in this ring. No, 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 no. The husband. husband is not the accomplice. The it's neighbor's the neighbor. husband. It's the former the neighbor is the... the board that's the accomplice. But who says <laughs> Ich Bindo? Who says Ich Bindo? That's the neighbor, that's the Rochel's husband. Ah. Rochel's husband. Rochel's and husband. also, I think she, she feels um, betrayed because here she thought she found the mother. The don't say that, she. That's not that you don't know who you're talking about. I'm the sorry, mother of Ethel feels yes. betrayed. Ethel's mother, who Thank is you. so unhappy in this country, finds a friend who she, who she thinks is from is from and yeah. takes her to heart and now is being hurt by having taken her to heart and finding out that she is involved in this nefarious business, business and that they are not from people, that they are not who they thought she was. So she is, it's only one sentence, but she's telling, she's crying at night because she feels betrayed. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And, 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 yes. and the other one is saying, this is what you run into in this country. People who act from, who ran away from the old country. So her husband it, says and, that. Right. You do yeah. you run into people who act from to cover up what's really going on? Yeah. Okay, Golda. Uh I don't want to leave without wishing everyone a Lashana <laughs> Uh I have to leave because I have another appointment. Sayala Gazent, let us all be written in the book of life for a good healthy year. Um, thank uh, you so I, much, Mena. I really love the class. Thank you. Thank you. Same. <laughs> Bye. Thank you all. It was a very uh, interesting story, I think. Sure yes. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, yeah, well, next story is going to touch on Yom Kippur. So I think I think the author wanted to tell us about this, what was going on there. Yeah. And that's why she wrote it in that way. Yeah. But she's she's just hinting at this, you know. She's doing it in another another way. And I really, I, I, I read through other chapters. I, I, I couldn't find anything to tie it. So other mm. chapters are dealing with other stuff in the oh. courtyard. So, okay, guys. Very so dark ending. Yeah, yeah it's very, very dark, dark yeah. and very it's interesting. Kind of, 
Yeah, it's I wonder if Julia think. ever heard of her. I don't know if Julia's still on. No, she left. Oh, no, she, she, she's not. Yeah, we have to ask her. What was the author's name? Mimi, it's Mimi Pinzon. Pinzon. What? What'd you say? Mimi Pinzon. I'll ask her. Mimi oh, Pinzon. yeah, it's on the cover. Yeah. yeah, it's on the cover. Mimi Pinzon. So. Thank you. Bye. See you all. Bye.